What's up everybody? Thani here. Welcome back to another video. So good to have you. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be targeting snook using live mullet. We got a little late start today. It's, uh, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and the tide is outgoing right now so that should be good. Wind's coming out of the, uh, the west but we're going to be fishing along the mangroves so we should be ducked off from the, uh, the wind. Hopefully we find bait. That's the, that's the main thing. If we, if we find bait, most likely we'll get on the snook. Let's see what happens, man. I'm stoked. Let's go. We're on it. We're on it, baby. That's a good one. We just got to um, the first spot here to look for mullet. If there's no if there's no uh, mullet here, then we're gonna have to go to the next spot and look for them there. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cruise along the mangroves and the shallows, and hopefully we can come across a school of like five to ten inch mullet. Those are the ones that we want for bait. We're just using my six foot net today. I thought about using the eight foot, but I feel like I'm a little bit more faster with the uh, with a six foot, and plus it sinks a little bit faster too because it's a half inch mesh. My eight footer is a uh, quarter inch mesh I believe. I got them here last time so hopefully hopefully we get a few man. We only have a few hours of fishing time left before the sun sets. Yeah, okay, got them. Yeah, got them boys. Oh, got a couple. Nice. Perfect. Let's get us out of here first. We got a couple nice ones. Oh, those are pretty big man. Heck yeah. They'll still bite it. These big snook will still inhale it. A little bit bigger uh, mullet, but we'll still take them. We got, we brought my bigger outfit too, so. Yeah. Oh, look at that, man. That's a good size right there. Heck yeah. Hopefully he doesn't jump out. Make sure of him. I don't know how big that mullet is though. <laughs> Let's see if he'll get slurped up. We'll find out, I guess. All right, let's try to get some more here. Just need probably a dozen. We don't need that many. A dozen is plenty. Oh, got one. Nice. Man, they're all big. Good thing I brought my bigger outfit, well, my heavier outfit, the uh, 20 to 65 pound IMX Pro Blue. G Loomis IMX Pro Blue. But look at this, man. It's a freaking huge mullet right there. All right, let's throw him in the live well. Oh yeah, three mullet. That's three snook. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully. <laughs> Watch, I jinx myself and I don't, I don't catch any. Hopefully that's not the case today, man. I'm feeling good. Feeling confident we're gonna we're gonna get on some or one at least hopefully. We are just gonna start fishing with just the three mullet that we uh, we caught, and then if we come across a, a school, then we we'll try to cast net for them. I'm just trying to get some fishing time in. Oh, these mullet are big, man. We'll start off with this one here first. We're gonna hook this guy right on his nose. That way we can we can. Uh, control them better. Hopefully it doesn't break off, man. That would suck. We might have to switch to hooking them on the uh, on the back. Cause sometimes they tend to break off, especially if you don't have the right, um, the right um, action of a rod. It's like a little stiff. There's no, there's no give. And when you go and cast, sometimes it just, just comes off. But here we go. I need to go get more bait, guys. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, thony, thony. We're down to one mullet. Since we're already here, we're just gonna we're just gonna send this guy out there. One. 
Back to square one, getting bait. <laughs> oh, that's a good size right there, man. Look at that. Heck yeah. Perfect. Let's throw him the live well. Wow, we got a bunch of green bags, the white bait. I guess we'll use these too. Worst comes to worst, we'll start using uh we'll start using these. <laughs> oh yeah, good size freaking. Oh great, I didn't even see all the grass. What was that? No! The only molly! Yes! I saved him! <laughs> you are not getting away this time. That's crazy. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these mullet, man. They'll jump out. Alright, I'm doing that again, man. That's crazy. You almost got away. Yes, you can. Insane. Alright, guys, we are rigging up the other outfit. Um, we're gonna throw on, we put on 25 pound leader material and probably downsize the hook to like a, a two watt for the greenbacks, the pilchard. And then we do have the other outfit for that one mullet that we have left. It's gonna use two watt circle hook. No luck on getting mullet today, man. It's one of those days. It's fishing too, getting bait. It's not always easy. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you lose them. That shouldn't have happened, but we'll get on fish. I'm trying to think positive here. Just tying on a loop knot to the two-out circle hook. That one's ready. All right, let's head to the spot now and hopefully, um, hopefully we get on them. Good size white bait right there. Let's see. How did he miss that, man? Let's go. That's a big one on the green back, baby. I gotta take I gotta take it easy because we only got 25 pound leader on here. <laughs> what a beast! On the green back, baby. Oh no! <laughs> Chafed up, man. That's what happens. Dang it. 25 pound leader. Right, let's try 30. 30 should be plenty. Hopefully they're still there. It's gonna tie on a W union knot. Pretty sure they're still there, guys. I can see like the shadows. Just moving. Literally freaking logs. God. So much fun, man. That fish was probably closer to probably a little over, a little over 30 inches because when he was trying to jump, he couldn't. He was just way too big. He only came up and shook his head. We got like a foot, literally a foot of a 30 pound leader, a couple foot. All right. Looks like they're still there. That's a good thing. It's a good sign right there. Just gonna hook them through his nose, like so. Oh yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. Here we go, guys. Good one. Oh yeah, that's a fun size right there, man. <laughs> Let's swing back over here. 
the heck, dude? How did that happen? This one right here, guys. That might be a jack, actually. I don't know. Yeah, he's fighting like a jack. You get on the surface. Come on, Jack. Pretty cool. Little yellow submarine action. Check him out, man. <laughs> Good deal. These guys fight too, man. Okay, good stuff. Let's put him back. See ya. Not the targeted species, but uh, let's put another bait on. A good size uh, pilchard here. Put them through its nose, like so. Send them out there. Not as big, but it's all right. Hey, buddy. Let's be here. Yes, sir. Not a bad one there. All righty. About time we land a snook today. There we go. Not a bad one. Probably 23 inches there. 22, 23 inches. All right, let's put him back. Peace out, dude. We're on it. We're on it, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Come on, I only got 30 pound on. Can't lose him, man. <laughs> I'm so stoked right now, dude. That's a solid one. That's a solid snook right there, boys. He's trying to get into the mangroves, actually. the one that came up and uh, boiled on the chunk that I threw out earlier. We have to land this fish, man. We haven't even used the mullet yet. That's on the uh, green bag. <laughs> Let's see how big she is, man. Come on, baby. Hopefully she cooks pretty good. Nope. Solid one, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude, that's a freaking giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the green bag? What? That's a freaking beast. That is a beast on a green bag. Fucking mouth, look at that. I can fit my whole freaking hand in that mouth. <laughs> that might be my biggest. I don't know. I don't know, man. Look at that, guys. Oof. <sighs> what a tank, dude. Let's measure it real quick. That is a beast of a snook right here, man. 35 inches, I measured her. That's a fat 35 incher. What the heck? Look how look at the width of this thing, man. Look at my hand. What a beast. She's heavy too, probably uh, probably 15 to 20 pounds. All right, see ya. Wow, that is awesome. 
on the green bag, man. That was a tank of a freaking 35 incher. The width of that thing was like the size of the length of my hand. Crazy. I honestly thought he was like pushing up with 30s, but I was not expecting 35 inches. Anyways, I got lucky on that one, man. I only got a foot of 30 pound leader, size two out circle hook. But we're gonna keep fishing at uh, this spot here and see if we can't get on some more. Sun's about to set and we still got mullet left, one mullet. We'll send that out in a little bit before we leave. Look at that hook, guys. I've got to show you, that's a two out hook I've been using uh, to throw the greenbacks, but that's kind of, that's kind of bent right there. Again, that's a two watt. So when you catch, when you're targeting like really big fish, like mid 30 inch snook, definitely go with some like, something like three aught or four aught even. So here's a two aught, a brand new two aught. This is what it's supposed to look like. See how it curves in a little bit, right? And then put it up against the, the hook that uh, I've been using, you can tell. It's a little bent. It's not bad, but I wouldn't I wouldn't use it anymore. Just in case if you hook onto a really big fish, you might lose that fish. That's gonna be a wrap, man. I don't know what happened, but all the snook like moved. They all disappeared. It's low tide right now, and um, I can't I can't find a single fish, not even a 20 incher. It's crazy. But we're gonna toss this uh, mullet back in the water, and we're probably gonna come back out here another day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, before I close out this video, let me show you guys the outfit that I was using for today. Mainly this one here, 4,000 size reel. It's a very, very uh, versatile reel. Perfect for like throwing live bait. Uh, you can use it to throw artificial too. The rod here is a uh, Chris Green's custom rod, seven foot three, 10 to 20 pound class. Really nice rod, super light for, uh, for what it is. You know, Chris Green makes like the lightest rod in his class. Super sensitive, perfect for throwing big baits. Paired up with the Shimano Accents 4000 XG, 24 pounds of max drag. Um, super smooth, man. Probably my favorite uh, inshore reel here, the Accent series. 15 pound uh, power pro, and we're running 40, right now 30 pound uh, Usuri fluorocarbon leader. Usually I run 40 when I'm throwing big mullet but today we were using greenbacks, so I stepped it down to 30. At 25, I was, uh, I was getting broken off. We're gonna head out of here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that like button if you guys like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Dansar kru.